So I still wanna make this form better. And the way I'm gonna do that is allowing me to actually render the form still using Django. Like I hard coded the form out here, um, which is okay, but it's not great because it's not gonna show us any of the errors. So if, if you actually look back at your, your local server, let's make sure that's running. And we did ABC at Gmail and I hit join. Um, it is showing up as it exists here. Right, so that's because I still am rendering this form, but if I got rid of that and hit continue, it's not gonna show it, right? It's not gonna show any errors, it's not gonna show anything. Uh, now, having that rendered in there, even as comments, it will still show those errors, or it still potentially could show those errors, but in this case, it's not. So what I wanna do is I can show the errors in a couple ways. Number one, I can say form.email.errors, and I can also show non-field errors by doing form.non underscore field errors. Save those, refresh, hit continue. And now it's showing that error right here, right? So this is actually showing it as a list item itself. Um, that's a way to do it. But another way to do this is to just iterate through the form itself. So we're gonna put it inside of this input group or we're gonna render out the input group. So we'll leave out the non-field errors, but I'll do for field in form, and then outside of this end for. In this case, our field, the only field is the input type. So we can just put in field here, and then above that, I can put field errors, field.errors, and I can just put a div class equals to alert, and alert dash danger. And this will give me those field errors. I'm actually gonna put that outside of the input group. We save that. And now this should work. So let's try it again. Refresh, we hit continue. Now it's giving me a little bit better of an error. And I'll just say alert dismissible. And then I wanna have my actual alert being able to dismiss. So I can just jump into um, we've got the class there already, so I'm just gonna add the close button in there. And we'll put that at the beginning. We save that. Refresh again. This email already exists. I hit exit. There we go. Okay, cool. So now our, our errors are rendering just a little bit better. If I join, this is still saying thank you for joining. Notice it's still rendering out errors. So what I really wanna do is say, uh, for the form errors at least, we will have it in here. But I also want to say if inside of the field, we'll say if for or field dot errors, then we'll show that div. And we're going to do the same thing for the non field errors. So I want to go ahead and copy this and we'll do form dot non field errors in here and use that if statement. There. Okay, so now we've got our if error stuff in here um, and it's show, it will show the errors only if there is an error. So if we have a real email that's working, it's not gonna show any errors. If we, have a, if we don't have an email, it's gonna tell us, hey, you have to include an email address in here. And there, and there we go. So now we have our fields actually working a little bit better. Uh, but as you notice, this is starting to get like, it's, we're starting to get a lot of stuff in here. So what I wanna do instead is I'm gonna add a new snippet inside of my templates for pages. And I'll say new folder and I'll do snippet. And inside of here, this will be our join form.html. And I'm just gonna grab that form. So the entire form, cut that out, paste it into our join form.html, tab it back. And then inside of here, where we had it, which was include We'll just do include, and this will include the template that we need, which is pages slash snippet slash join dash form dot HTML with form equals to form. Save that. Refresh in here. Template's still working. Everything's still working. I do ABC, whatever, at gmail.com. And thank you for joining. Of course, we get check in the admin that this is working. Go to joins, and there we go. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and add this to our actual project. We'll do git status. We'll do git add, git commit, update form rendering, git push 
Roku Master. I'm gonna let that run. And now the nice thing about this is we can actually use this include tag anywhere we wanna include that join form. Of course, we'll still have to use that join form as context and also have some other things related to that view in particular to handle the form, but it is now working. Okay, so it's on Heroku, so we can actually do go ahead and go back there, and we see that this is working. If I type in something that is a valid email, it'll say thank you for joining. If I do one that's not, it's or that it already exists, it'll say this email already exists. Okay, cool. So that's a really good start. If you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.